Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. That means we need to look at this week's Thursday Flip Investments, talk about the timeline, talk about our favorite weekly trading method, Thursday Flipping, buying before rewards and selling after. I wanna talk a little bit about this week and how we could be on a tight time frame again with the scheduling of a possible promo this weekend, Road to the Final, UCL Live. Last year, that promotion came out right around this time frame, so I wanna get you guys ready. I still think there's gonna be some good opportunities for some flips on Wednesday um, into Thursday after rewards, but we're gonna probably have to sell again before that 6 p.m. time frame, which is where we've been focusing most of our selling this year. It's really a, it's really a quick flip. Um, you buy before weekend league rewards, the weekend re league rewards come out early in the morning, UK time. People go ahead and buy teams and they buy all throughout the day UK until 6 p.m. UK when the content drop comes and possibly a loading screen this week if UCL Live is coming. So we wanna be careful with that, probably get most of our sales out um, before then. If you wanna take the risk, you can hold on longer, maybe sell on Friday if there's no loading screen. But last year there was a loading screen with UCL Live and there was a scream loading screen as well this year already. So they are doing the loading screens. As you very well know, what we do is we take a look at um, some of these cards that are in the um, that are in the team of the week predictions. We look at a couple team of the week predictions just to look and see what some of the stuff looks like. Could we link invest to any team of the week cards? This is team of the week eight prediction from Matt Foot Trading over on Twitter. He's got Grimaldo, Delict. The big boys in there that I want to point out would be Depay, Timo Werner, um, Lukaku wants to watch, uh, Walker as well, and Delict. So Delict, Lukaku, Werner, Depay, and Walker are kind of the guys that I would say out of this team of the week, you could possibly look for maybe some link investments too. The good thing about this is if this actually is the team of the week, Delict is decently low rated. Kyle Walker is decently low rated. So is Werner. So those are going to be guys that people are going to get from their team of the week packs for elite or from their red picks because there's a lot of those mid-level cards. Like, yes, you know, last week we had Mbappe, which not a lot of people got very high tier. And then after that, it really fell off with like Fabinho and Saul. This week, we have a lot of really middle tier solid cards that a lot of people might go for. Um, so again, looking at some of those first investments that we could make this week, a lot of this stuff has already risen up already if we're looking at direct investments to a lot of these cards. Kyle Walker's right back in form is probably going to be a very popular card. At this point in the game, people are looking to upgrade the Premier League right back situation. Sterling, who's up about 5,000 coins already, um, it would be a perfect link to that Kyle Walker card if it's a right back in form. That's a decent investment this week as it is, again, a link to Kyle Walker. He's English from Manchester City. Um, so there's plenty of links to a guy like Kyle Walker including some informs. Now, this was my favorite way of investing last year was investing in these informs that would link to Team of the Week players when they would come out as a part of the Team of the Week. Uh, Riyad Mahrez, though, is already inflated about 10,000 coins from where he was earlier this weekend. People have already been, invest been investing in this card. So I would say be very careful. If you can get a Riyad Mahrez under 120, I would say he could definitely go to 135, maybe possibly to 140 if there's a lot of hype around that Kyle Walker card this week, uh, or this weekend with, with uh, foot champs rewards. So that's a possible link investment there. The Delict center back, you know, to be honest, this Delict card is already so inflated. If you have this once to watch and you're watching this video before team of the week comes out, please sell this card. I think he's right now right around 85K for his ones to watch. I don't think his card's gonna be worth this much. It's basically like the Pulisic situation from last week. The Pulisic wants to watch was 80K. And look where his inform is right now. His inform is 12, 13,000 coins. His ones to watch is like 30, 40 something. So again, I think that's gonna be a similar situation with Delict. People are gonna buy up this card maybe right away when Team of the Week announces. He might go a bit above 85K, but there's so many center backs in the Serie A, which is kind of a not popular league this year. Everything this year has been French, it's been La Liga, or it's been Prem. There hasn't been a ton of hype around the Serie A. Maybe this changes it a little bit. We've had plenty of Serie A informs, but the cards just haven't made it into people's teams yet. So maybe this inform kind of turns that around, but I don't really know if a ton of people would use this card's inform in their teams. It would probably have 69, maybe 70 pace, 
you know, he would have, he would have solid stats, but um, of course the obvious link investment to that delict card would be Alexandro. Very easy link investment to him. Um, I'm still, I'm actually a fan of this one because Alexandro has been around 70,000 coins during the week and uh, it's kind of been his low point and he's currently there right now, 68K. Let me take that. I will take that for 68,000 coins. I will hold that the extra time. And we're going to hold on to that card right there and possibly make some coin off of that. So I'm, I don't have a problem with Alexandro under 70K. Um, but honestly, I don't think the real money is going to be in the link investments this week, the team of the week cards. I think that so many people did that PKSBC. You saw all the prices rise last week for weekend league teams. I think, again, this weekend, you want to be focused on linking players that are going to be linking to that PK SBC card as so many people have that card in their teams. Ter Stegen, last week on the weekend, rose up a ton. I want to look at some of these cards with you guys um, over here on Footbin. Basically, anything that is Barcelona that would link to a center back card. So a CDM, a center mid, a right back, a left back or a goalkeeper in Ter Stegen, I think are going to be great flips this week because it just shows you the amount of demand for this card uh, because of that peak SBC. He was 45K last week before the SBC came out, went up to 65, 66,000 coins. Right now he's at 60K thanks to some pack SBCs today. You can, you can tell he was actually 67K this morning. We got the UEFA marquee matchups today. He's back down to 60,000 coins. If you see this anywhere near the range of like 58, a couple thousand coins under 60K, of course, I do think he's going to rise above 60K because more and more people did that SBC and they have that PK card in their clubs now. So if you see this card get somewhere around the range of like maybe 57, 58,000 coins, basically under 60K, I'm a fan of that card for this weekend. I could see him maybe getting all the way up to even 70,000 coins with people wanting to use this card. He is also known as the best center back in the, or excuse me, the best goalkeeper in the game. This Ter Stegen card right here. Also some other links that I could see being very profitable this weekend in terms of links to that PK card would be Samedo again. I know he's an 82 rated card, so he is um, it's going to get packed a lot during rewards, but this card has, again, it's kind of like the Furlan Mendy situation with so many center backs and so many cards like that Usman Dembele being very popular in this game. This is the only way you can link some of those cards together with this Barcelona center uh, right back, Nelson Semedo. I think this is going to be a great investment as well. If you're going to be awake for weekend league rewards, get your snipers out and try to snipe this guy under 40 K. You probably will be able to sell in the mid actually upper 40 K's Thursday morning um, after rewards on the card like this Nelson Semedo. I like that one a lot. I also like De Young. Uh, De Young's inform actually, honestly, uh, it intrigues me the most out of all of these cards. The De Young inform right now, I think is like 280,000 coins as I'm making this video, but he fluctuates a decent amount. I just bought one. It's on my transfer list. I, I have it listed at 290 and I bought it for 265,000 coins. It'd be a nice 10 K profit if I was able to sell that card. But this card went up to 300K instantly last week with the PK SBC being released. Team of the week one in form, so it's kind of rare. You can see it was 230, 240, boom, right up to 290. And I actually vividly remember seeing him Monday morning uh, after, yeah, 300,000 coins right in this time frame. I actually saw him at 300K. He was definitely all the way up at 300. Um, so I could see that card going again over 300 this week this weekend as well after rewards. Basically, I want you guys to focus a lot of your investing on either the Prem, Meta cards, the French, the Brazilian, or La Liga. Um, I know a lot of you guys are wondering about Lang Le. Is Lang Le going to finally rise back up out of the darkness where he was because of that peak SBC? He was down like 102,000 coins during when the peak SBC was out. He's back up a little bit right now. He's at like 109, 110K. So he has risen up a little bit, and I think he keeps going this week back up to 120 plus for this Lang Lake card. Again, a very solid, very good, and one of the most popular center backs on the game. Same thing with Varane and Ramos. Uh, Ramos is really not recovered. Even though the PK SBC is gone, this Ramos card still maintains its price around 160K, actually a little bit below that. So this could be a decent weekend league flip as well. It could, you might be able to see this hit to 170. Again, that's probably a buy, but I can't afford it. 
159 with Ramos of the shadow. Let's just check and see if that is a buy indeed. How much is he going for with a shadow? Okay, actually, not too much of a buy. He's going for like 165 with the shadow. So that's that. But again, if you're looking to buy these cards for Weekend League, if you can get them for the Thursday Flippers, if you get them with Shadow Chem Styles or with the Hunters or with those very popular Chem Styles that people are using on that certain card, it can make your sale a lot more easier as people are buying their cards for Weekend League because they want those cards to have Chem Styles on them. So that's a few cards I want to look at. One more as well, Jordi Alba. This card was almost, I don't want to say irrelevant. I want to be nice to the guy. This card was pretty low last week. I think it was like around 40 to 50,000 coins for this left back Jordi Alba. Not as many people were using him. He skyrocketed up to 80,000 coins plus after the PK SBC came out. Watch this card again. If you see him get low 70s, I mean, he's 73 right now, which is pretty low since he was above 80K last weekend. I think he goes to 80K again this weekend with all the PK hype and the PK links. Again, Samedo in form as well would be a good look. Um, Langley, Varane, Umtiti as well. I think those center backs that were hit hard because of the PK SBC should be rising back up this weekend. Again, some of our usual we, um, weekend league flipping favorites, Lacazette, I think is somewhere around like 74. Somewhere around like, oh, actually he's even a little lower than that. Some stuff got hit today with supply. Supply SBCs. Wow, voice crack right there. That was pretty bad. 71,000, 72,000 coins for Lacazette. Again, I really see it a possibility of him to be back at 80K this weekend. Again, th these most popular Premier League French meta cards. If you want to look for some of these cards that are very popular and very meta and maybe look some through some other cards you could flip this weekend, go to this Players tab on Footbin and just look through some of the most searched up cards on Footbin, you can see you have Lucas at 35k, maybe some links to Fabinho card from last week, the Bernard Scream, the PK Scream again, very popular card. Uh, so just look through some of these, man. Look through some of these cards. Um, Rashford's cards, always a good one for Thursday flips. Usman Dembele, just because it's, it's such a very popular card. Like all these cards that are on here um, are good for weekend league flipping because they're meta, because they're used a lot in people's teams. I want to shout De Gea as well as a link to that PK card. Last weekend, he went from around 40K. He was up almost at 50K on that Friday when the SBC came out because people actually had a reason to use De Gea in this game. He hasn't had the hype like he has had in previous FIFAs, but I think this PK SBC would help him out. Under 40K, right around 40K for this card would be a perfect buy, in my opinion, for, an, for another link. Um to that PK card and to some other cards. Honestly, even some people with the PK, they're running more La Liga sides. So maybe a guy like Bale, like he jumped a little bit last weekend. He jumped to 110, 112, went back down under 100 at the moment. So uh, this could be back up at like 110 again for this weekend as well. But again, the stuff you're, it's almost a normal weekend on foot champs, I guess, for the Thursday flipping. Again, if you can get some informs that are low, if you see informs, that's something that I, I always peruse footbin. I always look around on Wednesday nights when I'm looking to buy a lot of this stuff. Wednesday nights on footbin, I go look around the market on footbin, look at out of pack special cards that could possibly be meta cards or people, basically cards that people are going to use in their weekend league teams. Maybe a sleeper this week that a lot of people haven't looked at, but I want to shout them really quick is Inform right wing nine Golan. I know he's Belgium. I know he's right wing. It's position change. But last week, out of packs, he went from 72K to 100K on the weekend, and he's still maintaining that price of 100K. Nine Golan's Informs are always rare, and people always want to use them. They will position change him in game. All you need is a 4-3-3. Link him with a strong link to Mertens, and boom, you have a link right there to your nine Golan. He's on full chem. So it's very easy to get him into a, into a squad change formations in game. So I want you guys to kind of watch a card like that as well. Look at those informs, look at Ducore, look at Ndidi, look at Wijnaldum, um, and look at some of the left backs as well. Digne, uh, Theo Hernandez, basically all the informs that are popular and that are used in this game could be very good flips this week as well. Looks like we got a sale, another Wamisaka at 37,000 coins, bought those at 32. You'll love to see it. All right, boys, that's my thoughts on Thursday flipping this week. I am a little bit scared with the upcoming promotion of possibility of road to the final. So I'm going to say it again, 6 p.m. UK on Thursdays, probably our sell time to get out just to be safe. All right. We like to keep it safe around here. If you got big balls, you want to hold your cards through the 6 p.m. content, 
to see if we get a loading screen. You don't think we're going to get a promo this weekend. I'm going to leave that in your hands. It's a decision that you can make on your own if you're feeling confident in that. So that's kind of where I'm, what I'm feeling with Thursday flips this week. Um, and hopefully we get a promo this weekend. I mean, it should be a banging Friday and weekend on FIFA because there's a lot of promising things with the new icon swaps, um, road to the final promotion, player of the month cards coming out, stuff like that. So if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below, like the video if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant, catch you guys later. Peace out.